OK, so we have this formula uh, that allows us to use binomial expansion when n is not necessarily a nice whole number. And the thing about it is that it is very specific in its format because it has it as 1 plus x to the n. Now, if we had 1 plus 2x to the n, what I could do is I could just replace each of these x's with 2x, and then I've got the formula that I need. However, if that number here isn't 1, then I've got a little bit more of a problem in my hands. And we need to know how to deal with that problem so that we can binomially expand any of these four. So if I had, just in the generic case, a plus bx all to the n, what I need is to get it into the format of 1 there, either plus or minus, whatever x, that doesn't matter. Okay, But that number there needs to be 1 not a. So what we do is we factor the a out of those two terms within the bracket. So we say to ourselves, let's keep that big bracket of something to the n, right? But we factor the a out of these two terms. So we would have 1, okay, because a times 1 makes a. Hence, we're getting the 1 plus well, this, factoring a out of bx, means I'd have to have b over ax. Because then I've got a times b over a is just b. So now that I've got this, I can say, well, now I've got a to the n times by 1 plus b over ax to the n. And now, whatever that is, a to the n, I can just multiply my expansion of 1 plus b over ax to the n by whatever that number is. And then I've got the binomial expansion of what I need. So let's see this in action. So here we've got 2 plus 4x to the minus 1. So what I do is I factor the 2 out of the two terms within. So I'd have 1 plus 2x, and that's all to the minus 1. So now I've got 2 to the minus 1 times 1 plus 2x to the minus 1. And 2 to the minus 1 is just a half. So now all I need to do is work out what the expansion of 1 plus 2x to the minus 1 is, and then multiply all of the terms by a half and I will get the binomial expansion of my original problem. So for this next one, let's factor the 3 out of those first two terms. So 1 take away 2 thirds x to the minus 2. So we've got 3 to the minus 2 times 1 minus 2 thirds x to the minus 2. 3 to the minus 2 is just 1 over 9. So I work out what the expansion of 1 minus 2 thirds x to the minus 2 is, and then multiply all of the terms by 1 ninth. And then I've got the binomial expansion of 3 minus 2x to the minus 2. Let's try it with number 3. Factor the 4 out, the first two terms, or those two terms. So 1 minus 4x to the half. So we've got 4 to the half times 1 minus 4x to the half. And of course, 4 to the half is just 2. So I'd work out what 1 minus 4x to the half is, binomial expanded, multiplied all through by 2, and I'm left with the expansion of 4 minus 16x to the half. So one last one to finish off with, 9 plus 18x to the minus 3 halves. So factor the 9 out of those two terms within the bracket. So we're going to have 9 lots of 1 plus 2x all to the power of minus 3 halves. So that's 9 to the minus 3 halves times 1 plus 2x to the minus 3 halves. 
Now, what's 9 to the minus 3 halves? So that's 1 over 9 um, to the 3 halves. So 9 square root of that is 3. So it'd be 27. So 1 over 27. 1 plus 2x to the minus 3 halves. So figure out what 1 plus 2x to the minus 3 halves is and multiply it all by 1 over 27. And that will give me the binomial expansion of 9 plus 18x to the minus 3 halves. Okay, so that's how we deal with this situation.